statistics can be confusing. Confusing? No way. Statistics can help us simplify reality. Hmm, simplifying reality? Hmm, but what is reality? Now, you're just making it hard on yourself by questioning reality. Because really, there are just two major ways that statistics help us simplify reality. Just two? Yes. We can use statistics to show how things are alike. And we call these statistics measures of central tendency. Okay, so measures of central tendency give us an idea about how alike things are. Okay, maybe I'm getting it. And statistics can also show how different things can be with measures of dispersion. See, once you get the concept down, you can start learning more about the measures of central tendency and measures of dispersion. However, if you've already done your work for Module 1, you should have a good idea about which is which. Okay, I guess that when I think about statistics in terms of similarities and differences, it does seem easy enough to understand. Hmm, I'm learning a lot from the dog, but maybe I'd like to hear these ideas from a guy in a relaxing outdoor environment just to be sure that I'm understanding correctly. Well, as a matter of fact, the Epsilon Group's favorite video about statistical terms features such a guy in such an environment. Check it out. Because it is so unexpected to most students is statistics is about simplifying reality. Now, I've already really brought this concept out in an earlier clip, but I want to talk now about how you simplify down to just two expressions of reality, just two numbers that express reality. The first expression of reality, first of all, you have to get some chunk of reality you're going to measure. You get numbers associated with that, and then you're going to operate on those numbers and make one number out of them. That first number is called the measure of how things are alike, how things are kind of centered around each other. And so the statisticians and the mathematicians have big words for it. It's called a measure of central tendency, the tendency towards the center. The second measure for that same set of numbers, that same chunk of reality or data, would be how things are different. This measure of difference I call the measure of dispersion. I, I don't call it that. The statistician. This measure of differences in the words of statistics is called measures of dispersion. It's how things differ with regard to their relationship to the center, to the measure of a likeness. So the two are actually interrelated. And those two numbers are sufficient to totally represent that chunk of reality you're trying to simplify. Now that is simplification, it really is. A chunk of reality becomes two numbers. And with those two numbers, you can do all sorts of things in terms of interpreting that chunk of reality, representing it, or even testing it against another chunk of reality. Now we'll talk about each of those measures separately in later sessions, but it's really important to understand two numbers can represent the entire chunk of reality you're dealing with.